concept map is a really good way of putting some ideas together in a simple way. You can use inspiration on your laptop or you can just do it by hand. So you can see in Search for Better Health, you might be studying infectious diseases. That links to all of the different pathogens. You have to know them and distinguish between them. How is a bacteria different to a virus? And you might look at transmission. How are they spread between people? And also the work of certain scientists like Pasteur and Koch. You need to know what they did. So a concept map is another way to study. The best piece of advice I can give you for the exam is to practice past papers. That's the only way to get good at anything you do, any sport, is to practice. You can find these papers again on the Board of Studies website. You should make yourself familiar with that site. They have sample papers for at least the last 10 years and they also have sample answers so you can compare your answer with their perfect one. I think it's a really good idea if your teacher is able to mark those questions because they give you feedback. So my students always complain, I write all over their work, red pen everywhere, but it's a good thing to get feedback. So I highly recommend that you do that. Okay, let's say it's exam day and you've gone into the exam, you're sitting there really anxious, there's a three hour paper waiting for you. They'll say to you, you have five minutes of reading time. You have to put your pen down. When you start reading, I want you to not go to question number one, but to skim through the whole paper. You need to find where is the end of the paper, and for you, it will be the end of the option that you studied. Then your five minutes will go really quickly. So find the end of the paper. Then when they say you may now start writing, Everyone else in the room will probably go straight to question number one. But I strongly recommend, even if you're nervous, you can time yourself if you're worried about time. For five minutes, you go to those longer questions that are worth more marks. And in the side of the paper, you just dot down some ideas. So really, you're offloading. Your mind is full of millions of facts. So if there was a question, for example, on the work of Pasteur, you would underline that's what they're looking for. And in the side, on the side, on the side, over in the margin, you might just write, he disproved spontaneous generation, he proposed the germ theory of disease, he Save the wine industry, the silkworm industry, no wonder he was a national hero in France. And he also developed some vaccines. So just get it out of your head so you're not holding it the whole paper. So I would jot down a few ideas. The most important hint of all of the ones I give you is you should underline or highlight words in the question. So if the question asks you to draw a diagram of a kidney, and you draw one of a nephron, you'll get zero, even though it's much harder to draw a nephron. If they ask you to write about the structure of an enzyme and you write about the function, you'll get nothing. So you have to read the question three times, highlight or underline.